Hello and today we're going to be on a missionchief.co.uk tutorial. Now this tutorial is about getting started and there may be other tutorials about the alarm and response regulation system. So for getting started you need to head over to the missionchief.co.uk where you'll be prompted with this register now or you can log in up in the top corner here. Now I'm going to be starting a brand new save so you can see what it is that I do. I'm just going to quickly hide my screen so that you don't see the details which I am entering. However, this is a brand new um, account. Once all your details are typed in, make sure to hit accept the terms and services at the top and press sign up. You then put into the game in which you can choose your location. For the purpose of the tutorial, I'm gonna be doing it in London as this is the capital of the UK and we're playing the UK version. I'm going to be building it the fire station, which is what I recommend is starting off with the fire station as these are the easiest is I'm going to be building the Paddington fire station. I've already got the uh, postcode for the Paddington fire station. So I'm just going to zoom fully in. doesn't matter where I'm going to be typing in that postcode. When hitting enter, it'll take me to a location. And this is the correct location for Paddington Fire Station. I'm going to go ahead and create a new building. And this is the list of the buildings. So you have your fire, your ambulance section, your police section. For getting started, I would recommend a fire station small, as it only costs 50,000 and you can have up to six vehicles. A normal fire station, you can have up to 15. However, it's going to cost you 100,000 credits. So for just starting the game, I recommend the small as at any time you can upgrade. As I said, we're doing Paddington Fire Station. So we're going to be typing that in for our name. And for a start vehicle, we want our water ladder, which is our general pump. Upon creating this, you'll see that over here in the dispatching window, we've got a new call in for burning leaves. We click on dispatch and you can see the call name, the available units down here, and the requirements for this mission. This will show you that it requires one fire engine. Therefore, we'll go back onto the call and we need to dispatch one ladder. So we're checking that and hitting dispatch. We can now see that it's going to take 34 seconds to get there. Whilst we wait for that call to clear, we're going to go back onto our fire station and we're going to get another vehicle. So the level is what you expand to be able to get an extra vehicle. So at the minute, if I should cancel that, I can only get one out of one vehicle. However, when I level up for 10,000 credits, I can now get a second vehicle. So we're going to do such thing going to get a water ladder. So we now have two of them for our missions. As you can see on the right hand side here, they require nine each. That is the maximum crew for the vehicles. However, over here in the personnel for the station, we only have 10 employees, which means we don't have enough. We're going to need to hire some new people. So we hit the hire new people button. Recruitment one day, we'll hire one new person, two person, and three person. We're going to get it on the three person day. So now every night, it is possible to get a new person employed. Temporarily though, we only have 10 employees. So we need to change the max crew for five on each of these. So I'm going to go on the edit button. I'm going to change the max crew members to five. We might also want to change the name, the call sign. Bump one, and we might want to add a dis delay on it. Say if we're doing a volunteer fire station, we could have a 20 second delay, a 30 second delay, five minute delay, etc. Save. For the second one, we also need to edit this and make it so that we now have five units. Sorry, five people inside of it. And we can name this one.
I know this is a little unrealistic, but it's just for the purpose of the tutorial. We might do a response delay of 30 seconds on this one. We can go ahead and save that. And now we have a maximum crew of 10, which is accurate to what we have. We've gone the vehicle back and we can just take a look at all the vehicles currently in the game, which is the water ladder, light 4x4, rescue pump and carp. These are the requirements for that vehicle. So you will not need a rescue pump or cannot get a rescue pump until you are a captain. With the other vehicles, you don't need them until you have three, six, etc. stations as the calls increase in difficulty requiring more units. You see here, this requires special education. Therefore, the fire academy will be required and you can either personally buy that for 500,000 credits, I think, or it's 400,000, or you can use an alliance one if you are part of an alliance. Same with the ICCU. We now have two calls within the area, here and here. The bale of straw fire requires one. Instead of hitting the dispatch, which stays on the same call, we're going to hit the dispatch and move on to the next call. And the burning car also requires only one unit. So we can hit dispatch on both of them. We have added a 20 and 30 second delay. So they will be setting off in 20 and 30 seconds. If we click on the call, you can see the delay. So it's going to be starting in one second. And that's the first one going. And on the second call, it should have about five seconds left. Oh, it's got 10 seconds left before it's going to be dispatched. So within them 10 seconds, uh, it'll be dispatched. So that's the delay that we've added on. Now these vehicles are a bit plain and not really any textures. So if you head over to the profile, down to the graphics packs, and you can actually get a graphics pack for these vehicles. This is my Alliance UK Emergency Responders. So by searching that, you're able to find me on my main account which has all of our textures. And then you can hit use this pack. You now have the vehicles with correct textures, but the missions are still a bit blank. So we're gonna go back on graphics pack, but this time onto the missions tab. And again, find the UK emergency responders, which is here. Show this, I'm going to apply this. These are the different grades of calls. Same with categories for the police and ambulance. So grid four is the non-urgent calls, which is your bale of straw and your burning car. And these are all updated whenever there's a new call coming out into the game. Heading over to the Alliance tab, you can either create an Alliance costing you coins, or if you hit the Alliance list, you'll be able to see all of the different Alliances. Again, I'm just going to apply for my Alliance. And it is here. If you wish to apply, just click on the link. You'll be able to see the recruitment, whether it's open or not. And you can either read this description. You can either just apply or you can join our induction server. I recommend doing both. After hitting apply and realizing that, oh yes, you need to be a firefighter. I will show you what that means in a second. So it says that you need the rank firefighter. We're going to head over to the profile tab. And the current rank is Proby. We need to be a firefighter, which means you need to collect a total of 200 credits from calls. This here shows how many credits you need before your next promotion. So we need another 56. So we're going to wait for these calls to finish. We've just had a radio alert saying that the mission, uh, the mission of the burning car has now changed into a burning trailer. So we can acknowledge that as there is no additional units required. Just going to wait for these calls to finish. On the bale of straw fire, we currently have 16 seconds left. In a later video, I will be showing you the alarm and response regulation system, which will help out with dispatching calls. Um, but that is a little bit complex, so that won't be shown yet. Let's just check, see if we can rank up. So yes, we can rank up, we can now be promoted. By clicking that, we're now the firefighter 
current rank. We're going to go and apply for the Alliance. So at the current moment, we're on page two towards the bottom. Never mind, we're on the page three. So we're going to apply. It will now be re reviewed by an Alliance admin, which is myself, Ben or Ben at the current time. Within our Alliance, not just the in-game ranks, we have our own Discord ranks, but you'll find out more about that if you do apply. Make sure to read the rules before applying as these are important. These are updated regularly, so make sure to check them often. We can now send to this phone box on fire, checking what the requirements are, which is an engine, and then dispatching them. It will be there in one minute. Upon joining an alliance, your alliance admins may decide to create calls. So they can either create a large scale alliance mission, which is a larger normal call where there's only one of them, or they can create an alliance event. Currently there's only the alliance storm, which will create either 150 or up to 300 calls in the space of three hours which need to be tackled by anyone in the Alliance and you can all join together. The staging area is a temporary station that lasts 24 hours, which you can send your units to in preparation for the events. That is going to conclude this video. It's just a little short one to show you how to start the game off. There may be more tutorials following this if this does receive some comments and any help that are needed. But for now, this is goodbye.